Dr. Matthews, Mrs. Piggott? Ah, uh, Dr. Matthews, I'm very concerned about Seamus' skin. It's gone completely flaky. I've never had this problem with any of my other children. Well, let's take a look at him. Uh, where is he? I'm sorry, he's so sensitive. He thinks people will make fun of him because of his flaky skin. Come on, Seamus, let the doctor look at you. Ah! Seamus, you're a snake. <laughs> It's only for a night or two, so we can take a proper look at you. You will make me better. Otherwise, no one will like me with my skin falling to bits. Now, don't be silly, Seamus. Sometimes we look better than at other times, but always remember, we look just the same underneath. He was adopted. I thought you might have realized that, Dr. Matthews. After all, he's a snake and his mother is a horse. <sighs> We're still going out to the cinema tomorrow night, the 25th. You haven't forgotten. Of course I haven't forgotten. I've been looking forward to it all week. I know I won't sleep a wink tonight. Oh. Everyone makes fun of me because of my flaky skin! Everyone makes fun of me too. Why? I'm a Dalmatian and I haven't got any spots. But you know what Nurse Kitty says? We're all just the same underneath. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Ted. Morning, Kitty. Morning, Ted. Oi, Kitty. Yes, Ted. Uh, I hope you don't mind me saying so, but did you know you've got a great big spot right in the middle of your face? I get it seen too. Sticks out a mile. Thank you, Ted. Yes, I did know. But I'm just the same underneath. Oh, Kitty, you're a bit late. Had a spot of bother? Just a spot, Dr. Matthews. I've been wondering about Seamus. And I think he may have psoriasis. What he needs is some coal tar ointment. I'll go and get some from Claire and Arthur. I need to see them about another problem anyway. My goodness, Kitty. Aren't you hot wearing a scarf on a hot day like today? Oh, no. I'm, I'm going out tonight. I don't want to catch cold. That should do it. Hello, Claire. Arthur, I've just come to collect some coal tar ointment. Righto. Oh, and I was just wondering if you had any spot cream. Spot cream? You're in luck, Kitty. We've just invented some. Help yourself. Oh, no! I've grown another spot. It works. What do you mean, it works? I wanted to get rid of my spot, and now I've got two. Exactly. That's why it's called Spot Cream. It's for Dodie. He's a Dalmatian, and he hasn't got any spots. Yes, and it's very kind of you to try it out for us, Kitty. Oh! Did you see that, Ted? She's got another spot now. What a whopper! Can <laughs> see it for miles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That should do the trick. I hope so. I don't want anyone to make fun of me. See, Seamus? Remember what Nurse Kitty told you? You're just the same underneath. Isn't that right, Kitty? Um, yes, Dr. Matthews. But everyone will run away from me so they don't catch it too. Catch it? Don't be silly, Seamus. You can't catch it. 
Why is Nurse Kitty wearing a mask, then? That's true. Why are you wearing a mask, Kitty? Oh... Hello, Dodie. Time to try our new spot cream. Just rub it in and it'll give you spots. It's been scientifically tested. There we are. I can see a spot coming now. Let me have a look. Let me look. There. Oh. What's the matter? It's the wrong colour. Dalmatians always have black spots. People will laugh at me if I don't have black spots. Oh. I'm worried about Seamus, Dr Atticus. His skin is flaking off. Well, of course. You do know that snakes shed... My goodness, Kitty. Those spots are enormous. Really quite unusually huge. Yes, Dr Atticus. But I'm just the same underneath. Ah, oh, Kitty. I've just been looking at Seamus' skin. I'm just wondering if we should try the spa pool. Yes, Dr Matthews. I'll be there now. Oh! What's got into her? Uh, Dr. Matthews, you do know that snakes... Huh? Talk to yourself. There we go. That should make your skin feel softer. I hope so. My skin's getting worse and worse. I must be the ugliest animal in the world. Nonsense. A little bit of rough skin is nothing to worry about. Could be a lot worse. Look at Kitty with those two great big spots on her face. Oh! Any improvement, Kitty? No, Dr Matthews. No improvement at all. I can't help feeling that Kitty's taking Seamus's problem a bit personally. Well, Matthews, what is it? I wanted your opinion about Seamus. His skin just gets flakier and flakier. Ah, yes. Well, that's because he's a snake, and snakes shed their... Ah, oh, there you are, Kitty. And where's Seamus? I wanted Dr Atticus to take a look at him. I can't find Seamus anywhere, Dr Matthews. But I did find this. Yes. As I've been trying to tell you, Dr Matthews... Come on, Kitty. Let's get to the bottom of this. There you are, Seamus. Look at me! Look at me! I'm so grateful, Dr. Matthews. Seamus' skin looks better than it ever did. What did you do? We didn't do anything. No. As they grow, snakes shed their skin. It's a natural process. You were right, Kitty. All the time I really was just the same underneath. So you don't have to worry either, Dr. Atticus. Me? Well, even with that spot, you're just the same underneath. Spot? What spot? Must be all those chocolate biscuits. Oh, dear. Are you going? What about your spots? Oh, I've decided to stay as I am. It doesn't really matter what you look like. Oh, uh, I know. We're, We're just, just the, the same, same underneath. underneath. Goodbye, Ted. Ready to go, Kitty. The film starts in half an hour. I... I don't think I'll be able to go after all, Dr Matthews. Oh, Kitty, I really want to see this film. It's got Leoline Leopard in it. Those spots of hers drive me wild. Really, Dr Matthews? Can't resist spots. Ever since I went out with a Dalmatian once. Why, Kitty, your skin looks wonderful in the moonlight. Does it, Dr Matthews? Really? Heavenly. Now, come on, Kitty, or we'll be late. Coming, Dr Matthews, coming.